This one's gonna be on RTMP SRV is a way to capture RTMP links from flash streaming sites. And people always ask me why the fuck would you want to do this uh, if you already have a web browser. Well, that's the thing. Okay, let's say you don't want to use the web browser. Um, a, because it's too much resources. B, um, let's say you want to resize the player. You can't really do that very well on here. Okay. So if you use like a, an external player like M player or VLC, it's easier. Uh, thirdly, let's say you have a, um, what is that, a media center? Like XBMC or something like that. They have like plugins to do this, so you can use your um, what is that? Your remote instead of your keyboard to type in the fucking uh, URL, right? So those are the three things I can think of. Um, so how would you capture this stream here? So this is actually a free site to watch uh, news, and this one's like rt.com slash on air. RT stands for Russia Today or something like that. Anyways, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab the stream here. And to do this, well, for the sake of this video, we're going to add these uh, three functions here, right? Or these three commands here that you need to know. So we're just going to run sniff begins, sniff capture, RTMP SRV, and sniff end. But what does it mean, actually? It means um, this first one here, the beginning, is to append a rule to our IP table, all right? Um, and then from there, uh, we're going to watch, you know, the RTMP link with RTMP SRV. And the last one is just to delete the first one. So the first one we added or appended, I mean, the last one, we're just going to delete the first rule. That's about it. So add that to your bash RC or ZSHRC. Hopefully you know how to do that already. I don't have to explain it. And, uh, let's do this here for this site. Okay. So first thing, sniff begins. Type in our password, and then type in sniff uh, captured, right? And now it's waiting for a uh, RTMP uh, stream. So to do this, we're gonna reload the site here, and it should capture it for us. There you go. That's it. And now I hit Control C. Since we don't want to capture anymore, uh, we're gonna end it with sniff n. Right, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. Um, so now we have this link here, or not this link, this uh, long command here, right? And it, basically, this command is just using RTMP dump and uh, copy this thing here. Now, by default, you know, this command here it saves it to a uh, or it outputs it to a uh, FLV file. That's not what we want to do, or maybe that's what you want to do. If that's what you want to do, then use this one, and it will download the stream. Um, that's not what I want to do, though. So I generally just want to watch the stream with my own player, and to do that, just delete that part and then uh, pipe into a player of your choice. Some people like to use uh, the GUI VLC, and you type in VLC, or uh, the command line is just C VLC, right? Uh, I generally like to use M player, so I'm gonna use M player, and then dash, and that's it. That's the complete command. And if I run this now, hey, we have our you know our feed there with M player, and I, I can resize it you know to my liking. Escape to quit out of that. Uh, so that's what you do there. Now this one doesn't tell you this, but on other sites. Uh, you might need a dash uh, V flag, okay, somewhere in the beginning here. Right here, right here, dash V, and that stands for live feed. Uh, if it's not live, then you don't need that, but this one was live, and uh, I don't know why they didn't need it, but on other sites, you might need to add that, okay. Um, now, this method doesn't always work. It works for this site. doesn't mean that it will work for, uh, you know, other sites, so just give it a try. If it doesn't work, you know, continue on to the next one. I'll probably post a few more videos on this. Uh, there's other methods to to get the links. This is just one of them. Uh, so now we have our, you know, whole command here, right? And all you gotta do is, um, what was that? If you want to uh, use this, like uh, make it simpler for you guys, you can always add your own functions to this. 
So let's go back to our CSHRC here. And all you gotta do is, let's say you want to, you know, say, okay, I have the link now. I have this whole command now. Uh, generally, you don't wanna copy and paste it every time. So all you do is type in your own function. So let's write our own function here. We'll call this IPTV. And since this site is called RT.com, we, we call it RT.com here, right? And this part here, we're just gonna copy our commands that we used it. Uh, here we go here. Right, copy that, and then we save it. So let's write that out. And control C out of this. Now let's reload our shell. My shell is uh, ZSH. If you're using bash, then just type bash. And now, uh, if I ever want to watch that channel, I just type in IPTV and RTCOM. And uh, that's it. It will just play that channel, right? Uh, and after you accumulate a lot, like I did, if I accumulate a lot already, so if I type in my other streams here, you can see that I have a whole bunch of channels. Not to brag or anything, but uh, you know this is what it will look like uh, if you have a lot. And if you have ZSH, you can do the menu complete. And if I want to watch something, let's say this uh, Korean music here. It should play it and there we go I can watch Korean music and stuff like that anyways um, that's one method there's other methods I'll make other videos for but you, you do need to install RTMP dump um, it's in your uh, what is that your repositories and if you're using like players like M player or VLC then you need to install those also all right that's how you do it and that'll be it for this one I'll uh, make a playlist for these type of things, so check the description. That's it.